G'day guys and welcome back to El Leaf Block Revolution and today I unlocked the Soul Realm and Soul Crypt which is really cool as we can see here we can go over Soul Realm, go to the Soul Temple, have a look at the cool menus and stuff um, do all these like getting deeper into the Soul um, Crypt and all that and uh, bonus rewards and all that but the good news is that I am in here the bad news is that I require more damage I am currently sitting around 5e86 damage, I believe, and I need e89, so I need around 500 more damage to be able to start killing the enemies in the soul crypt right here, so I can start using the soul shop and brewing and everything like that. So how exactly am I meant to get all this damage? Well, the first place I was looking for is Bolt Ventures. Bolt Ventures is a great way of getting more damage, I thought, because I haven't invested in any damage here at all. So I am slowly filling out all the Leaf Floors and Trance to get as much damage as I can. And this should give me around an E2 uh, increase in damage. But I am still missing around a E2 to E1 amount of damage to get an E89. So how exactly am I meant to do that? So another strategy I used was I went and made a more tower floor set and I got all the way up to around 40 million tower floors if I can find the area. Around here, 40 million, uh, yeah, 40 million tower floors right here, which gave me around a 3.5x increase in damage. But I am still lacking in damage. I am still sitting around... Uh, I think I said this pool, but around 6 point or 5.0 E86. So I need around 500 times the amount of damage needed to get to a uh, E89. But one thing that I did realize by accident, I stumbled across it, is that uh, the Soul Stone, a more efficient way as it requires Borb Ascension Juice and less raw Soul Stones, as it can create nine soul, uh, soul stones besides four with the inefficient version. But I realized if I go into the soul shop here when I was like looking around at all the upgrades, because I thought you need to kill, um, start killing the enemies in the uh, soul realms and the soul crypt to actually start purchasing these upgrades. But I realized that I can use these soul stones to get damage and brew multiplier. So if I get 80 soul stones, I can increase my damage by another 10x right here, which is going to be a massive increase. So I can actually start killing those enemies um, that require E89 damage to do so. And I am only five raw, so, uh, raw soul stones away to getting that one level into damage multiplier right here for a 10x increase. So with that increase being just around the corner, I should only really need around 1e or 2e, uh, yet e2 max more damage, which I can sort out through cards and ball ventures quite easily. So that is going to be my plan to actually get into uh, farming the soul crypt and everything like that, as cards still give quite a good boost into damage. Even though, look at this, 1300 cards right here. So this should be a nice increase once I open it as well. Combining that with the Bolt Ventures and the Multiplier of the 10x, I should be getting to the Soul Crypt in the next day, hopefully two days at max. So once I reach the Soul Crypt and start farming it and killing the enemies in there, I'll give you another update on how things are going and what stage of the game and what I am focusing on at that stage as well. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, please make sure you leave them down in the comments below and any feedback as well. And do also make sure you like and subscribe if you want to see more content like this. And as always, have a good one.